crispy from the outside and super fluffy from within. Let's make hot and yummy Mysore Bondas with quick coconut chutney. For the batter, I am taking 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 1 fourth cup of rice flour, half a cup of whisked curd, 2 green chilies chopped, 1 inch of ginger grated, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, 5 to 6 curry leaves finely chopped, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda and 2 tablespoons of fresh coriander leaves chopped. Let's bring everything together. Now, I'm adding 1 fourth cup of water in batches, mixing everything together each time until I get a thick batter. Whisk for 5 minutes. While instead of maida, you can even use whole wheat flour for the batter, the taste will be slightly nutty. I'm leaving the batter for 1 hour to rest, post which we will make the bondas. To make the bonda from the batter, I'm firstly wetting my fingers, then scooping out a small portion of the batter one by one, so that it doesn't stick to my fingers, and releasing it into oil on heat. The oil is on medium heat. You will see the batter balls puffing up and this always brings a smile on my face. After all, it is the fluffiness and lightness of this snack that makes it so fun to eat. The bondas are fried from all the sides, crisp and brown. Let's take them out and make a quick coconut chutney to go along. In a grinder, I'm taking half a cup of chopped fresh coconut, three green chilies, one inch of ginger pieces, 2 tablespoons of green coriander leaves, salt as per taste and around 1 fourth cup of water. Let's grind. Coconut chutney is ground. For the tarka, in a pan on heat, I am taking 1 tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is heated, I am adding 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 dried red chilli, and 5 to 6 curry leaves. Let's pour the tarka over the chutney and this is ready too. Enjoy these Mysore bondas with coconut chutney and there's nothing else you need. Or maybe a cup of coffee? Until we meet again, eat well, live well and stay blessed.